Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sean from TechTrader.Webs.com, user comps to Sun Pete. And today I just have a quick review for you guys of the Surface laptop. Um, kind of give you guys my feedback and how I feel on the unit. Um, I've had it for about two, three weeks now. Um, and, you know, I got a chance to test it out, see how I liked it. Um, it's actually been longer than that. It's probably been closer to a month. <laughs> uh, you know, time kind of flies. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you guys what I think. Um, so first, we'll just go off with the design of the, the machine. Um, you know, it's a really, really well-designed machine. Um, one thing that Microsoft makes a good point is that you don't see any screws on this entire body, this entire frame of the device. Um, so it's, you know, it's really well-designed. Um, you know, the finish is very nice, very soft. It's very premium, you know, metal around with the, with the Alicantra uh, keyboard, um, you know, fabric um, on the keyboard. So it's a very well uh, designed and premium device. Definitely feels, you know, um, like, you know, a thousand dollar computer, um, which most of the configurations are higher than that and price wise. Uh, as far as your IO, IO is a little bit slim, um, but you know, it's not too bad. Uh, so there's laptop one and two all have the same IO. So this goes for both of them. Um, so you can see you have a USB A 3.0 um, on the side. Then you have a mini display port, three and a half millimeter jack. You can see an antenna, uh, a little uh, slit for your antenna. And then on the right side, you have a, a connect uh, port for your service connector, as well as another slit for your antenna. So, so the Wi-Fi can get out and the Bluetooth radios. Um, other than that, there's no other IO. Um, there's a Surface dock you can buy. The Surface dock will allow you to plug in more things to it. Um, but as far as the IO, um, it's, it's pretty much it. Um, one complaint, especially with the Surface Laptop 2, is that there is no USB-C, uh, especially with these, um, you know, being newer devices, definitely having USB-C, especially for uh, PD, uh, power delivery, would be very handy, um, seeing as a lot of people don't, you know, specifically have a service connector on hand, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, Surface charger on hand, um, but having, you know, USB-C is becoming a lot more um, universal now, especially with most of the Apple products, uh, all the new Apple MacBooks moving to that. You can see the power brick here. One thing that I think Microsoft did do a good job, in addition to it being magnetic um, on the service connector side, is that it has a USB-A um, connector, or excuse me, port on here. So you can kind of charge, you know, other devices. So you have like your lightning cable or whatever. Um, you want to charge your iPhone off of it. You don't have to worry about plugging it into the USB-A on the laptop because that tends to be pretty slow, especially um, when it's being charged off the laptop as well as it's also negatively affecting the laptop's battery. So that's that's very nice and convenient as well as it doesn't use up one of your only uh, USB-C jack, uh, excuse me, USB-A um, or your only USB-A port on there. Um, so opening it up, you can see the nice Alicantra, you know, palm rest, very nice material. Um, I do feel like over time it will get beat up, you know, a decent amount, especially if you actually use them as palm rest where you put your hands down on. Um, the trackpad's very nice, uses Windows Precision Drivers, obviously a Windows uh, Microsoft product. In addition to that, it also um, is glass. Um, so very, very nice. Um, that's one thing, you know, I can definitely not overstate about this device. The keyboard and the trackpad and this palm rest is A1. You know, I, I would definitely say it's the best that I've used on a laptop so far. Um, I've used a handful of laptops, uh, you can see on my channel, uh, or used for some of the other ones. Definitely the the tactile feel of the keys, the how spaced out they are. Um, Microsoft makes a good keyboard. Probably the only keyboard that I'm not a fan of is the one on the Surface Go. Um, obviously, it's a 10, 10 inch screen. It is a little bit cramped. Um, definitely don't like the response on that. I really like the response on the uh, on the new, the Pro 4, the Pro, and the Pro 6 keyboard. And this is pretty much the same keyboard that you're getting here. Even a little bit better because it's an actual keyboard, you know, built into a laptop as opposed to just a, key, a separate keyboard that's a little bit flimsy um, on the Pro series just because it's so thin. Um, so yeah, that backlight's really good. Um, I think you even have um, a few different backlight levels as you guys can see here. So very, very nice keyboard. Microsoft did a great job. Um, and you also see by a lot of reviews, you know, this tends to be one of the best keyboards in the game uh, out there. Um, as far as a specification standpoint, I have the eight gig of RAM model, 128 solid state drive and uh, Core i5, uh, this being the original laptop, it's actually a seventh generation, so I believe it's a, a 7200U, uh, if I'm not mistaken, let's just check that out. Um, okay, this 
is a yep 7200U um, processor. So uh, performance wise, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I have a lot of programs open right now, so you can see my RAM's running running pretty full. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a solid unit. Um, haven't had any issues. My HP before I was having some some issues with the Wi-Fi card on here. On there, the Wi-Fi card on this is a uh, is a Marvell card, and it's very solid. Um, you know, haven't had any issues with performance wise. Um, you know, overall, it's just been really good. But the only lacking portion of it is you know this GPU, um, especially now nowadays it's pretty antiquated. Um, you know, this Intel. Um, Two six or excuse me six twenty, um, but then again you know a lot of people especially that are using this just for like school and stuff like that won't be using you know the graphics card in it so it's it should be fine for that. Um, another thing that's that's very understated is the display. This is a thirteen point five inch pixel sense display. Um, very good resolution. Uh, it's about quad HD uh, right around there, um, but very good resolution. The size is a little bit bigger than the normal 13.3. Um, takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, you know it's actually really nice. Um, in addition to that, the color on the color and the view angles on this is is very good. Um, you know, it's probably one of the best that I've had in a laptop personally. Um, something that's not really advertised a lot, but it's it's definitely very good. Um, you know, this display is 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 cream of the crop essentially. Um, also, another thing I believe Microsoft says is that this is like one of the thinnest um, displays on the market for a laptop. And it is pretty nice. It's very thin. Bezels could be a little bit smaller, um, so you could push that display out a little bit, but they're not big by any means. Um, and just the, the panel just feels very high quality, especially with this, you know, aluminum trim kind of going around the side there. Um, other than that, like I said, I mean, you guys can really hear, you know, I really like the Surface laptop. Um, speakers are integrated under the keyboard, so you don't see any speakers, but they actually sound, you know, fairly, fairly good. Um, you know, I don't have any complaints there. Probably the biggest thing is the fact that this isn't a two-in-one. Um, so you can see this is, uh, there you go. This is about as far as it'll go back. Um, it would be nice if this had some two-in-one functionality, especially being able to fold it back over. I suppose, you know, you get the Surface Pro or you get the Surface Book for that, for stuff like that. That being said, um, you know, it would be nice to have that kind of hinge design in there. Um, so, yeah, minor things, like I said, the bezels could be a little bit smaller. Graphics card could be a little bit better. Um, but obviously, if they're going with stock Intel chips... Um, unless you get something like a Surface Book 2 um, with, a, with a dedicated graphics card, you're not going to get anything really that much better with graphics. Um, as well as that 2-in-1 hinge design and the, and the I.O. Um, minor, minor gripes um, that I could say that I would say could be better with this guy. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's really solid. Um, it's a really solid laptop. You know, I'm very happy with it. Um, one thing I could say, um, in addition to that, and I kind of mentioned it with the screen, if this was a 13.5 inch screen, which is fine if they want to keep that form factor, the whole two by one and, and whatnot. Um, if they decrease this bezel size and kind of put it in the footprint of a 13.3 inch laptop, for example, like my, uh, my HP Envy over here, and I'll show you guys here how it is a little bit smaller, just a tad smaller. Um, I feel like they could definitely fit that in there, you know, uh, by decreasing that bezel around the, around the edge. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, you know, definitely if you guys are in the market for it, I highly recommend it. Um, the only thing is I would say don't go with the four gigabyte model. Um, they eliminated that with the Surface Laptop 2, uh, as well as the Surface Laptop 2 comes preloaded with uh, Windows 10 Home as opposed to Windows 10 S. That's one thing that I had to do when I got this laptop is just remove the, uh, or, you know, upgrade it to the, to the normal one, which is a free upgrade. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, you know, it's a great laptop. Definitely would recommend, especially if you're in the market for it. Um, these laptops do go on sale, you know, $200 um, off, sometimes even three. Um, definitely, if you can catch it on a sale like that, I would, I would highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, uh, one last thing I will mention is the battery on this. The battery is very great. Um, you know, one of the best that I've had on a laptop, a lot longer than the Envy that I personally have. Um, in addition to that, the um, fan noise is usually very, very low if it is running, as long as you're not doing something super intensive. So, you know, overall, it's a great laptop. Definitely, you know, highly would recommend it. 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Feel free to. Um, other than that, like I said, my name's Sean from TechDollars.com. This comes to send Pete, and I'll talk to you guys in a later video. Um, you guys have a nice one. Please subscribe to the channel um, and also like the video if you guys uh, if you guys do like it. Um, and like I said, drop comments in. I'm um, usually very good at getting back to getting back to those. Um, so if you guys have anything, just let me know and I'll get back to you guys. I'll tell you guys in a later video. You guys have a nice day and uh, see you guys later.